Hello, FCS parents. It's another Thursday Thoughts, and I'm just sitting here getting ready for our teacher in service tomorrow. We're going to have all the teachers from both Natomas and Fairfield here on campus. It's time for us to get together and uh, renew those relationships with each other, collaborate a little bit with our counterparts from Natomas Christian School. Uh, I'll be giving a little uh, teaching on leadership, some of the leadership aspects we want our uh, teachers to convey in the classroom, and then also Mr. Voice will be talking about some practical things the teachers can do in the classroom to help with retention of information among students. It's actually a very interesting topic called the primacy recency effect. It takes a look at a period of time and uh, when is the best time during that period to present new information for retention by the students. There's prime times to do that and there's down times where you don't want to present new information. As I think about that whole primacy recency effect, uh, I think about our school year as well. Uh, during the downtime, this time of the school year would, would be, I would consider our downtime or what I like to consider the black hole of the school year. It's because uh, things are just, there's not a whole lot going on. There are things going on, but we're about two thirds of the way through the year. Uh, the school year so far has been kind of a grind as we've kind of moved to this point, uh, but we're now in the second semester where we've come quite a ways but we're not close enough to the end we can see the light at the end of the tunnel so uh, in some ways some of the students are feeling a little um, a little bit down maybe uh, overloaded with work uh, just not being able to find the motivation to move forward so uh, it's a time of the year where it's really important that uh, I myself and the other teachers here on staff uh, we really focus on the students to make sure that they are staying focused they they are staying motivated in the classroom to finish their work to do things on time you know, during the first semester we have a lot of breaks built in partially because of the holiday season uh, and the way things uh, fall during the school year uh, a lot of uh, various breaks just spread out throughout that first semester and in the second semester we don't have as many breaks uh, you know from this point to the end of the school year we just have one more break and that's Easter break and it is a significant break but there's uh, several chunks to here where we have just several straight weeks of school and uh, so that can kind of get students down a little bit and that's something we definitely want to watch out for in terms of the students we want to make sure they aren't getting overloaded or overstressed uh, I'm constantly uh, in Bible class talking to the kids about stress and worry and anxiety uh, you know the Bible has a lot to say about it over 200 times in the Bible uh, God says, do not fear, or do not be afraid, or don't be anxious. So if God's saying it over 200 times, it must be something that, one, we're doing a lot, and two, uh, something that's important for us not to do if he's telling us that many times not to do it. So uh, with your, when your kids are at home, I want to encourage you to encourage them as well. Uh, they need some positive reinforcement. They need to know that they are fully capable of not just doing the work, but doing it to a high standard, uh, doing the best of their ability on everything that they do. And that's what God asks us to do. And so I just ask you to, to help encourage your students, help to motivate them through the school year, because it is a, a, a tough a tough grind uh, as we go nine months throughout the school year for these, to finish, these kids to finish all this work and get through all of that. So uh, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I know it's, uh, there's not a whole lot going on in the school year right now. Like I said, it's kind of the black hole of the school year. But we do have a few things coming up on the calendar here pretty soon. March 4th is actually our reading day. For those of you with kids in elementary school, you should have gotten information about that. And if you haven't, teachers should be sending some information about that home uh, relatively soon. Uh, it's just a day of reading. And we want to focus on reading and make sure the kids are uh, getting in those books and reading as much as possible. Reading plays a huge part in education. Uh, I get the opportunity to read some stories to the kids as well, so it's going to be a good time that day with all the elementary kids going through our various reading programs. March 10th, our spring pictures. So we uh, haven't done spring pictures in several years, but we do want to offer that as an opportunity for, your, for the kids to come in uh, looking great, uh, take some spring pictures. You're under no obligation to purchase any pictures or anything, uh, but it is a chance to, uh, to get some updated pictures. Kids change a lot, especially young kids, especially over the course of six months or so. Uh, so if you want some updated pictures of your kids, uh, maybe for your older kids, you have some uh, need to have some pictures, you know, seniors, if you don't want to pay for um, uh, pictures from a photographer, things like that, it's a great chance to get some pictures taken. And again, it's going to be March 10th, so make sure uh, your kids are coming to school looking their best on that day. Uh, then, of course, we have Easter break. Uh, we have Good Friday off, and then the, the entire following week off as well. And then... Uh, Coming up in the distant future, but something I want to make sure that you guys are aware of, April 8th is our spring formal for you high school parents. So uh, we're going to be combining with Natomas Christian School, uh, and it's a great opportunity for the kids to get together and to socialize in a nice, safe, uh, organized environment. I know the kids really enjoyed it last year. We asked one student what their expectations of it going in on a scale of 1 to 10. She said a 5. We asked her after she experienced it 
uh, what her what, how she would rate that, and she said a 12. So the kids really enjoyed it. It was a great time. We're going to have a good time again this year. Uh, but one small change is that it's only for high school students this year. We decided to make that change this year. Last year we weren't sure about the participation and things like that, so we included junior high and high school. This year the spring formal is only for high school students. I know some of the junior high students are a little disappointed by that, but we are going to be having a separate event for them, and as we get details of that, we'll let you guys know about the date and time of that event as well, specifically for the junior high students. Well, those are just some of the things coming up on the calendar over the next few weeks. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys at some of those events. Hopefully I'll see you guys around here campuses sometime. And as always, if you guys have any questions or concerns or suggestions, feel free to call or email me uh, and we'll, you know, or come into the office and schedule an appointment to see me. Uh, we love to talk to you guys and we love to get your input as well. All right, hope to see you guys soon. God bless.